Hey there, it's Eid tomorrow and I've made a video showing some activities you can do to make Eid day more fun for the kids and for yourself. I have also included an extremely moist chocolate cake recipe with pudding on it. Hi everybody, we're gonna make an Eid pop-up card. For that, we need to take two papers one slightly bigger than the other. Fold the smaller paper right side in. Draw a three centimeter line. Cut along the line. Fold it upwards. Then open the card and pop up the uh, piece. Fold the bigger paper right side out. Now stick the small card to the big card. Stick a moon, kava, or flower, uh, or anything you like on it. The card is ready. It's nice to make Eid favors for the kids. I ordered these cute little boxes from Amazon and uh, filled it with candy and Eid money for them. The kids always get too excited seeing these boxes waiting for them. For Eid dessert, this time I have for you the super moist and delicious 10 spoon chocolate milk cake. For that you need 10 tablespoons of milk, 10 tablespoons of oil, 10 tablespoons of sugar, 3 eggs, teaspoon of vanilla and a pinch of salt. Blend this in a blender until everything is combined. In a bowl through a sifter add 10 tablespoons of flour, 10 teaspoons of cocoa powder and a tablespoon of baking powder. Sift it well. Pour the wet mixture into the dry mixture. Mix it gently until everything is combined. Line an 8 by 8 inch pan with a baking paper and grease it well. Pour the batter into it. Bake in a 180 degree Celsius preheated oven for 30 to 40 minutes until the toothpick inserted comes out clean. To make the Oreo cream, add 4 Oreo biscuits and powder it. Add 1 sachet of Dream Whip powder. Two fifty ml of thick cream and 1 by 4 cup of milk. Blend it until everything is combined and the cream becomes thick. Once you take the cake out of the oven, poke holes all over the cake. 
and pour about 1 by 4 cup of chocolate milk. I refrigerated the cream, the Oreo cream which I prepared for about 1 hour so that the cream got thick. Then I added the cream over the cake and spread it well into a nice even layer. To make the milk chocolate ganache, I've added 145 grams of milk chocolate and added half cup of heavy whipping cream and 3 tablespoons of unsalted butter. I then microwaved it in 20 second burst for about 3 times, stirring in between until the chocolate is completely melted. Pour the ganache over the pudding. Spread the chocolate all over the pudding. Then refrigerate it for about 4 hours or better overnight. Delicious and very moist uh, chocolate milk cake is ready. I made these Eid crackers inspired from Christmas crackers and I think this is a very fun idea for the kids. For that I took three tissue paper rolls and then covered it with a wrapping paper. Roll it tightly and seal. Gently twist one side of the cracker and tie it with a ribbon. Remove the cardboard from one side. Fill it with candies or small uh, gifts or whatever you like. And then tie the other end and remove the cardboard from there. I think you have to put a strip of paper inside so that when they pull the cracker apart it makes a snap and makes a cracking sound but I didn't do that. I'm not even sure if this is the traditional way of making crackers but I just gave it a try and I think the kids will like it. I then decorated it and that's it. That's the crackers ready. Crackers are usually shared between two individuals, one pulling on each end. This will tear the cracker open along with the goodies inside. By showing them pictures and videos of Hajj you can give them an idea of uh, the main meaning behind Eid al-Adha. Hajj related word search is also a good idea to keep them busy during Eid day. Hi, I'm Yasmeen and I'm going to make a Hajj ritual diorama on cardboard. I started off by making a kava using a printable template and a cereal box. Once I was done, I started to fold the template to make a cube. After that, I glued the corners so that it would stick well. And that's the Kaaba ready. I made the Safa and Marwa mountain out of foil and paper. These Mina and Muzdalifa tents were the easiest to make. I then labeled each of it. After watching the video, I really understood what Hajj is and the steps. It was really fun doing this project and I'm excited to explain the Hajj rituals to the guests who would come home for Eid. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration on how to keep your kids entertained during Eid.